My name is Isabel, and I learned that there was a very important queen 500 years ago. So I have to go take a look. Who cares? from year 2016. Did you know that you are very famous in our social studies book? I am interested in finding out what happened in your life. Well, let me tell you. I was born on April 22nd, 1451 in Madrid de las Altas Torres in Castile. My father was John II, the King of Castile. He died when I was only three years old. My mother was Isabella of Portugal. Queen of Castile. I grew up in Castile, the largest of the five kingdoms in Spain. I have two brothers. Henry was my elder stepbrother from my father's earlier marriage. He treated me badly. Alfonso was my younger brother, but he died at age 14. I heard that although girls in your time don't usually get an education, you are very well educated and very brave. Well, I went to a village church with my best friend Beatrice to learn about the Catholic religion, reading, and history. I learned needlework from my mother. And Beatrice's father taught us horse riding and using bows and arrows since we were very young. I'm also fluent in both Castilian and Latin. Can you tell us about your love story with King Ferdinand? Oh, sure. My cousin Ferdinand ruled the second largest Christian kingdom, Aragon, in Spain. I refused other arranged marriages just to marry him. So now we rule our united country equally together. How many children do you have? We have five children. Four girls and one boy. This is Princess Isabella, my firstborn. This is Joanna, this is Maria, Catherine, and this is John, my only boy, but he died. Are they also very well educated? Oh yeah! I insist that all my children get a good education. And they even made most of their father's clothing. And your name is always together with Christopher Columbus. Why is that? Well, without my money, he wouldn't have become so famous. At first, he wanted to find a new route to the Indies during the Granada War. But I didn't think it was a good idea. After the war, I finally sent Columbus on his first expedition in 1492. He wanted to find gold, spices, and rare goods in the Indies. At least that's where he thought he was going. We didn't know until that Portuguese guy Amerigo Vespucci found out that Columbus was wrong. Columbus reached San Salvador Island in the New World, not the Indies. On Columbus' second voyage, he brought back Indian slaves. Oh, I was outraged. God knows I only wanted to convert them to Christians, not to use them as our slaves. Well, I still sent Columbus on his third and fourth voyages, just to expand our Christian kingdom. I can tell you're pretty mad at Columbus, but he's still pretty famous. Well, he was the one that believed that the earth was round. And that uh, people could reach Asia by sailing west from Europe. He didn't actually reach Asia that way, but he made our country the first to reach the new world. By the way, I think I'm even more important and should be more famous than Columbus. I led our army to win many wars, so today, Spain is such a strong country. I also sponsored a total of nine voyages to the new world. Without me, Spain wouldn't have had so many colonies in the New World. Um, and it looks like you're going to die on November 26, 1504. Excuse me? What's today's date? Today is... November 26, 1504! You're such a false prophet! Are you going to murder me? Caesar soldier!
Sorry, I'm back. <laughs>